three presenters. Uh, we're going to start with Krishna Ramchandran, who is the CEO and co-founder of Ubersense. Ubersense uh, takes the idea of interactivity and truly personal television into new ways. So Krishna, please come up and join us and show us what you've got. Take a swing at your new adventure. So I figured I'll start with a simple golf swing. Um, so I started playing golf three years ago and I wanted to play like Tiger Woods. I quickly ran into a pretty serious problem. I really sucked. There are 100 million kids and adults in the US who aspire like me to become better athletes and they spend $6 billion on sports coaching in the US alone, $6 billion. All of these people face the same problems that I did. It's very hard for them to see what they're doing wrong and it's hard to fix what you cannot see. We've solved this and it's called Ubersense. Ubersense is a personal coach in the palm of your hands. We are aggregating a global community of athletes and coaches. Athletes use our mobile and cloud platform in order to collaborate with each other and learn. Not just that, they can also connect with the best coaches in the world and get personalized lessons and instructions. Let me show you how it works. So let's say you're playing with your son and you're working with him on his tennis serve. You record his serve using your phone or tablet. This is Ubersense on the iPad. By just running your finger along the screen, you can get to that precise moment that you want to look at and give him feedback on. Observe how smooth and natural this whole interaction is. You might be wondering why this is not possible using a regular video player. On the left is that same video using the iPad's video player. As you can see, it's skipping a whole bunch of frames and is just not suitable for sports analysis. On the right is that same video using a proprietary technology. It's smooth, interactive, natural, just the way it should be. We've also used this codec to build in side-by-side -side comparison. Here, the athlete is comparing himself against Roger Federer, his favorite tennis star. What's nice is that he can also use this to compare against himself from a week or a year back to see how he's improving and progressing in his game. And if he just moves his iPad into portrait mode, he gets overlaid comparison with adjustable transparencies. Really nice. Now what I've shown you is for tennis, but it really works for any sport. In fact, we have 600,000 people who've already downloaded our software and are using it for all the major sports in the US and around the world. Seven Olympic teams discovered our software and are using it to train for the upcoming games. And not just that, even Major League Baseball teams who can afford pretty much anything under the sun are using our software to train their athletes as well. Collectively, a community of users have recorded and analyzed over 4.5 million sports activities. And since September, we've grown from about 250,000 videos per month to over half a million this past month a 2x increase in a fairly short amount of time. People are even buying lessons over our platform, connecting with coaches across continents. Athletes love this because it's convenient and they get access to the best coaches in the world no matter where they're located. Coaches pay us to host these virtual academies where they can do this teaching and they love this because they get to expand their business globally. So let me show you how this works. So let's say I'm looking at my crappy golf swing that I just showed you and I'm trying to get it reviewed. I'm looking at it, I hit a button, I select a coach, pay for a lesson, and once I confirm the purchase, the video is automatically shipped off to a coach who may be sitting at home, enjoying a cup of coffee, he gets a notification on his iPad, he opens it up, hits the record button, and everything that he plays back and draws on the screen is recorded as part of his personalized review. The nice thing is that even his audio commentary is picked up by the microphone on the iPad and embedded as part of the video. He hits save, hits the share button, and instantly that video is sent off to me. I get to see it on my phone, I listen, hear, see everything that he's saying, and it's with me when I need it most, which is on the course when I'm practicing. So let me tell you about the team that has made this happen. 
Amit and I are co-founders. We met eight years ago while getting our PhDs in computer science at the University of California, Santa Barbara. We build complex systems at companies like GoToMeeting, Cisco, Yahoo, and Intel. Andrew is a director of user experience, has built beautiful iPhone apps that have been downloaded over a million times around the world. Now imagine a world where every athlete is using their mobile device to learn sports. UberSense will power this new world and become the personal coach in the palm of your hands. Thank you. Thanks, Krishna. Why don't we, say, why don't we just join here? Yeah, yeah, great. A great presentation and a lot of ideas about what you can do. Tell us a little bit more about UberSense itself. How long have you been in business? So we've been in business for about a year and a half. And um, you know our apps are available on the App Store. They're, uh, they're one of the most downloaded apps in the sports category. Um, and we're a venture-backed company now. And by the way, has your handicap improved at all since you've been doing this? Yeah, so thank you for asking. I've dropped 15 strokes ever oh, yeah, since Way I to go, way <laughs> to go. Now, where is your funding coming from? Obviously in Boston, you're, you're right across the street from MIT, I, I believe, That's right. in Kendall yeah. Square. So a uh, lot of uh, VCs, a lot of opportunities for funding around here. Where has your funding come from so far? So, uh, well, we charge for our apps, so there's a revenue stream coming from that as well, but also uh, venture capitalists and angels have backed UberSense. So. And, and they're based in the Boston community. Primarily local in, in the area right. here, which is a fountain of, of money up here, yeah, obviously, absolutely. even these days. Now, now, equally important, you're at the cable show. There's cable is becoming a converged multimedia industry, which has been for many years. What do you expect, or what would you like to see from your presence here at the, the cable show this year? So I think for us, this is a fantastic opportunity to interact with uh, like-minded people in the innovation economy. And you know what we see is that this is not limited just to mobile devices, but ultimately it's a convergence environment. So you know you could potentially record your golf swing or your baseball swing and see it on your television, interact with all the content that's streaming through cable boxes. So it's a great environment to be in, and of course network and build relations. What uh, have you seen? Have you had a chance to look at anything here at the show that in particular would work with what you're up to, what your vision of the uh, oh, future is? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been walking around and looking at all the innovation that's happening at the various companies, especially in the mobile space and how mobile devices connect with cable set box, set top boxes and IPTV and all those kinds of things. So, um, yeah, it's, it's all very relevant to what they're doing. Now, now, a lot of what you showed was obviously on the iPad. I presume it works will work on other uh, tablet devices as well as, as the smartphone. Have you done any research to identify where the best opportunities in that wireless technology are? Um, we are a mobile first company, so it's definitely uh, on the mobile device, but ultimately it's, um, it's, it's carrier independent. It can be over Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G or whatever new technology comes along the way. Of course, the faster the network, the better it is for the experience itself. Well, Apple, I mean, still has a 90% has share of the tablet market right now, right. which but, works for you. Uh, yes, but you know, ultimately that will change, and so we will diversify to different other. And, and by the way, in case the audience didn't, at home didn't see it, you want to turn around and show us your number on the back of your shirt. <laughs> number one, <laughs> and of course, um, it has number two. That's right. <laughs> the uh, fi final thought I I'd like to ask is: We know sports is a gimme in this industry. I mean, sports and athletics is a very, very popular category. Do you see anything that Ubersense is doing will move beyond the sports category? Or are you going to focus on this for the time being? Well, we're focused on sports, but we're already seeing our technology being um, you know, used for performance arts, dance, music, and even physical therapy. So people are using it wherever technique is involved. And, and what you can do, your technology that lets you track motion and all that will work in any of these categories. That's right, absolutely. And, and there's other revenue models as you move into those as well, it seems. Yes, but it's a, it's a, it's a long learning and applying that learning to you in a very personalized fashion. So. Great. I thank you very much.